Hello everyone, for today's magic card trick tutorial, I'm gonna share with you a fun trick to do with a coin or even a dollar, okay? Now you have a regular deck of cards, well mixed, well shuffled. Have a spectator, just go ahead and select any card that they like. It is a true and free selection. They look at it, remember it, okay? And while they're doing that, they can also show it to all their friends. Let's say they pick the two of clubs. I'm gonna go through and they can stop me anywhere they want and I'll just lose their card somewhere in the middle of the deck, okay? So I have no idea where it is and it really doesn't matter because I'm not gonna find the card. The coin's gonna find the card. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this coin, make it vanish into a billion different particles, penetrating through all the cards and then coming back together at one card, their selected card. Pretty neat, right? Okay, let's take their coin. Boom, vanish. Let's see if I can cut right to where the coin ended up. What was the card you selected? Was it the two of clubs? And that's coin finds card. And it's pretty simple to do. And before I tell you how to do it, please like and subscribe to this video. I really appreciate it. It really helps this channel out. Also, check out thebestmagicshop.com where you can find some awesome new magic tricks, accessories, shirts, bags, and more for yourself or anyone who just likes magic. And now for the tutorial. Okay, so coin finds card and um, you know, you can do it with a 50 cent piece. If you don't wanna do it with a 50 cent piece, you can do it with a quarter, whatever coin works for you, or you can even get a cool $1 bill and fold it up into you know a quarter just like this, okay? So it can be done with a coin or a dollar, okay? So now the secret is finding their selected card. So you have a regular deck of cards and what you're gonna have them do is they're gonna pick a card and while they're looking at their card, okay? You can shuffle this deck, it doesn't matter. It's a regular deck of cards up until this point. Once they pick their card and they look at their card, you're going to get a little crimp on the bottom card, okay? Just with your pinky, okay? You don't need to do too much, but you can, you can start big and then end small after you practice this trick a few times, okay? So you just get on the bottom card, it doesn't matter what it is, a nice little crimp, okay? And I just use my pinky, pull it down a little bit, kind of push it over. Don't bend the card, just, you know, don't crease the card, but just bend it a little bit so it doesn't crease, okay? It's called a crimp. So you're just getting a little crimp in there with your hand, okay? Now you're gonna go into your Hindu shuffle mode and that also hides with these fingers the crimp, okay? So you do a Hindu shuffle and have the spectator place their card anywhere in the middle they want or you can stop wherever you want and just place their card here and then just drop the rest of the cards on top, okay? You're not maintaining a break, it doesn't matter. So you can even do a dribble make it look like you're not, you know, keeping control of the card at all, okay? Now, when you square up the cards, you'll notice on the side that there's a gap, okay? And then this is a little exaggerated, and that's where your crypt card will be, and then that's where you can cut the cards from the side, okay? So if you have the deck and you cut there, which is easy what the crimp is, this is going to be their selected card right here, okay? So you have the deck squared up, the crimp is here, you have your 50 cent piece, your coin, whatever you wanna use, and you can do, I just do, you know, a simple palm vanish, okay? Which is just palming the 50 cent piece, and I'm going to act like I'm putting it in my hand, closing this hand up, and I'm just maintaining a palm in this hand. You can do a French drop if you want to, okay? Pretending like you're grabbing the coin in that hand and then go into a palm, okay? However you wanna vanish it, it's completely up to you. You just have to get it into a palm for the next move, okay? Something com you're comfortable with while you're cutting the cards. Now, a half dollar might not work for some people, I understand that. That's where you can get this cool $1 bill, okay? Or any dollar, fold it up into a square and then that's easier to palm, and it also doesn't make any noise if, when you drop it on the cards, okay? So, the coin, vanish. Palm vanish, okay? Say it's gonna go in a billion different particles. Now you're reaching with my middle finger and my thumb right here at the crimped card, okay? Look how easy that is. When I'm reaching for it, I'm pushing it over here to cover the card with my hand, okay? 
under the cover of my hand and then just dropping the coin as I place these down and it looks like the coin is at the card that you cut to and boom, that's their selected card. Now, if I do it so you can see a little higher, I'm going over here, okay? And then I just drop the coin out of the palm as I set those cards down, okay? And you do it in one motion, okay? One motion here, take those cards. Sometimes you will drop it. <laughs> take those cards, take them, place them over the same time you drop in the coin, okay? This is the crimped card. So it takes a little bit of practice. Now, if you're worried about the noise of the coin dropping, you can also use the dollar bill, boom, cut the card, drop the dollar, at the card, okay? So dollar might work better for people. The coin, you know, is just kind of a standard way of doing the trick, okay? And then just dropping the coin on the cards as you cut them, okay? And that's it. And that's Coin Finds Card. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And it's just a simple coin vanish with a crimped card. Now, you can uncrimp this card and your, your deck's regular to, ready to go again. Or when you have this deck spread, you can just spread these cards out like this, turn these over, show just a regular deck, and then you know pick these cards up. You're ready to go again. You have one little crimped card on the bottom and you can just crimp it back and now you're a completely uncrimped regular deck of cards. So that's the reset. Regular deck cards, coin. Let me know what you think. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know. And until next time.